I saw this inviting looking driveway and it enticed me. I have to see what's inside of it, if anything. No overnight parking? Oh, it's just a train station. I'm interested in this little side path. Train station. Is it not in service? It's freaking dead. There's not a single car here. Why? Why? Why, why? What's over here? What's if I go this way? What's there? What's if I go in? I'm not going in there. That's stupid stuff. More parking. More parking. Oh, permit parking. No one wants to buy a permit. Well, that makes that's a perfect motorcycle wheelie practice ground, doesn't it? Unless there's cameras. <laughs> My first wheelie got it on tape, bitches. That was freaking awesome. That was the most fun I have had in I don't even know. <laughs> oh god, I'm even scared to try another one. Nope, not in second gear. Not at these speeds. Okay, it's coming around. Come around. Nope, not that time. You go nice and straight. Nope, not enough guts. I guess one wheelie might be good enough for the day. Oh! <laughs> Fuck me! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die on this thing! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, let's quit while we're ahead. Oh, it's out of gas anyways. Oh, here comes the police. That was a perfect time to stop practicing my wheelies. Well... It was all worth it for that! I'm gonna remember you. I'm gonna remember you, Transportation Center parking lot. I'm gonna remember you. You were my first. Oh my god, all I wanna do now is wheelies. I just wanna do wheelies. I wanna go back to that parking lot and do wheelies. I wanna do wheelies. <sighs> oh! oh no! I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. So hungry. Actually, no, I actually really am hungry. I was gonna say, actually, I'm not that hungry, but I am. I'm so paranoid about that cop that I just passed. It's funny because I know that I was just moments ago doing something that I wasn't supposed to do, and right when I stopped doing it, luckily right when I stopped, I saw the cop. Like, right immediately, like I stopped practicing wheelies, I exited the parking lot, and the first thing I saw was a cop. And it just, it, it's, I'm tripping. I'm tripping upon it. I'm tripping upon it. Because even though I'm not doing anything wrong now, you know, I'm just calmly obeying the law, the fact that I was doing something wrong, and I saw a cop in such close chronological proximity to, to each other, gives me this just heebie-jeebie feeling that makes me not want to even risk doing anything that could get me in trouble. Like, I feel like all my legal karma has been spent for the day. Vazrat, will he fit? Yep. Why did he do this? Why do they do this? Look at this. You could fit a whole extra car here both sides. I was thinking about it the other day, I was watching uh, one of Baron Von Grumble's older videos. Sorry Baron, I tried to imitate your accent and I failed. I do apologize. No offense intended. They say mimicry is the highest form of flattery. And I'm very fond of the Baron. The Baron. There I go again. But anyway, I was watching one of his older videos and uh, there were multiple supercars in appearing in that one video. 
and I thought, man, that's so weird. Like, if you look, if you watch his videos, there's a, a relatively high percentage of them that you'll see really expensive, nice, exotic cars in. And I was wondering why, you know, maybe are more people in the UK rich or something? And I think that the, the actual reason you see more supercars in British vloggers' videos is because the population density is greater in England. Like, per, uh, whatchamacallit, the amount of land per capita is less. So the rich people sort of end up having to come down amongst the peasants more often than they do in America, where they can they have an enti the entire city of Beverly Hills to be rich in without ever having to set foot on the same pavement as we pedestrians. So that probably just, you know, increases your chances of coming across an expensive car because, you know, the rich people are just crammed in with everyone else. If anybody has an opinion or any information on that, uh, if they want to chime in, let me know because I'm curious about it. The next mod that I want to do on my bike has nothing to do with Excel, you know, it has nothing to do with the drivetrain, it has nothing to do with suspension or handling. It has to do with rider comfort. And what I want to do is put hand guards on here. I want to put hand guards that kind of sit here and block the wind. Because it's not winter now, but winter will come again. And when it does, it will bring with it freezing cold temperatures that I hate riding in because it, it kills my hands. And I want to put these things up, so I've been shopping around, looking for them, going on forums, asking people, you know, do they make something like that for the Ninja 650? And I guess the answer is, for the, the naked edition of the Ninja, the ER6N, they do make stuff that'll work. But to get anything to work on a, a Ninja 650R fared edition, uh, there's a lot of jury rigging and sort of construction you have to do because uh, the position that those guards would be in is compromised when the steering is at full lock in one direction or the other by the handlebars proximity to the windscreen. So basically what happens is if you have a, a handguard here like it's got to stick out past the lever right the, the lever like the clutch on this side or the brake on the other side because if it were too close in you know if it were as close as the lever then you wouldn't be able to get your fingers onto the lever to, to pull it to actuate it so you need that gap but to actually position a handguard farther away from the lever you have to put it in a place where when the steering is at full lock it's going to actually bang into the windscreen here so you can't actually move the steering to full lock which, you know, isn't a problem during everyday riding like this, but if you ever need to do low-speed maneuvers or, like, wiggle your way in, in and out of a parking spot in a parking lot or something, then, you know, you, you lose some of the radius that you normally would have had if you didn't have the handguards. So I'm sort of in this position where I really want this, this thing, but I feel like I can't have it and I don't know what to do about it. It's just stressing me out, man. It's just stressing me out. I guess I could just get hand warmers, which I'm gonna call them, like heated grips or heated gloves, but I don't want to pay the money for heated gloves. They're pretty expensive. It's like a set of tires. I don't really want to spend that money, especially not right now because I'm in school and I don't have a job. Or I could get the heated grips, which I think are I think are cheaper, but you have to work, you know, you have to get your grips off and everything. There's a bit of work that goes into it. And I'm just, you know, I can't be bothered, to be honest. Can't be bothered with it at the moment. I need the sort of mod that I can just eat quickly bolt on and be done with it. At least at this point in my life. There's a very large number of police officers out today, which is bad for me. It's bad that I'm in high spirits on a day when there's lots of cops out because when I'm in high spirits, I do sillier things. So I need to just take a deep breath. <coughs> that was too deep. Slow down. Take it easy. Bray Boulevard, I'm almost there. I know where I am now. The rest is easy. I've made it. I've made it all the way from the San Fernando Valley to Orange County. This is 
too long. It's too long. How long this stupid thing is? Flapping in the wind, flapping away. We can't have that. I'm gonna have to make some sort of adjustment to it. I, I left the San Fernando Valley like a little before one o'clock, and it's almost four now. So normally it takes me a little over an hour. Today it's taking almost three hours. Oh, okay, well, this is close enough. I don't want anyone to actually see where my girlfriend lives. I don't let anyone see where I actually live. It's not right for me to share her residence with you guys. So this is Motor Merc signing off. It's been a pleasure. How cool am I? How cool am I? How cool am I? Am I cool? I can't even tell.